Trevor Noah says Trump should embrace fire and fury book. Why collude, if you don't you want to win? Late night hosts on Thursday poured over the bombshell accounts of the Trump administration's first year contained in Fire and Fury, a forthcoming book by the journalist Michael Wolff. A major assertion is that President Trump was disappointed when he won the 2016 election. Trevor Noah said Mr. Trump might actually want to embrace that narrative. I will say this, if you believe that he didn't he want to win, then it is hard to believe that he colluded with the Russians, right? If anything, instead of trying to shut this book down, Trump should be sending a copy to Robert Mueller to be like, you see? It exonerates me. The part where it says you're an idiot. No, no, go on further. Trevor Noel Stephen Colbert pointed out that Steve Bannon, the president's former chief strategist, is in hot water with allies after being shown roundly criticizing Mr. Trump in the book. Bannon has caught holy hell from his own supporters. In the last 24 hours alone, candidates he has endorsed have abandoned him. He lost his biggest billionaire donor. Even the alt-right is turning its back on Steve Bannon. It is true, they were so embarrassed of Bannon that a lot of the alt-right have started covering their faces with hoods. Stephen Colbert The Trump administration on Thursday authorized prosecutors to go after marijuana offenders even in states where consumption of the drug is legal. Mr. Colbert said the decision revealed something about Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who spearheaded the move. This new directive from Sessions can mean only one thing, he still don't he know that white people smoke pot, too. We can't expose our delicate young ladies to the jasmine's reefer stick. I said good day, sir. Beauregard, bring the horses around. I am paraphrasing, obviously. Stephen Colbert